very happy to have in the studio, a special improvised studio, uh, Rock Messar and uh, Chert Valentincic, is that correct, Chert? Correct. Very well, correct. from Slovenia. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, and welcome to Elector House, Elector Castle. You are here, you are the makers and the creators of Red Pitaya. We are extremely pleased to have you as guests on our castle. You are actually working here, to, uh, attempting to work <laughs> here yeah. at the castle amidst all the technicians and the commercial people, PR people, that sort of thing. thing. And uh, so, well, welcome to the, uh, the Elector House. Um, so, I am going to explore with you, if you want, um, how Elector came about knowing Red Pitaya and where Red Pitaya came from in the first place. Because I have to say also to the audience, it, it was quite a surprising product. We saw it bubbling under on the communities and on the internet and suddenly it was there and I have to be very honest I like it very much the product myself I'm also into measurement and testing stuff mm -hmm. old equipment and new equipment so this is a I think a brilliant combination of if you want embedded technologies and measurement te technologies I think that fits the bill red pitaya rock maybe for you first what is like the, the uh, very short the, the history of, of Red Pitaya? In a nutshell, please. <laughs> okay, so first of all, thank you very much for inviting yeah. us. You're welcome. And for all the compliments you gave from the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's uh, an impressive product, so there you are. <laughs> sure, thank you very much. We only invite people who have impressive products. Great, great to hear. Uh, so basically, it all started in 2013. Hmm? Uh, it started in a that's a bigger company that has 40 employees. Mm -hmm. It's instrumentation technology is called, and uh, they produce or design uh, basically instruments uh, for uh, particle accelerators. Okay. So we knew technology quite yeah. well, and at that point, we you know we used many instruments like oscilloscopes, yep. spectrum analyzers, and this kind of all discrete instruments. Yeah, mm -hmm. all these bulky, bulky yeah. instruments. Okay. You know, yeah. Uh, we all know about yeah. and uh, they were quite expensive and uh, quite heavy you know to, to, bring, them, to bring, bring them with us mm -hmm. and at that point we decided you know while knowing technologies why don't making an instrument that could be affordable yeah. for everyone for a, let's say price around 200 euros mm -hmm. and uh, probably that packs all the functions definitely yeah, yeah that packs all the functions uh, into one single let's say pocket size mm -hmm. instrument mm -hmm. and that has also the capability of being uh, let's say open software source so we saw the disadvantages of these products because they were closed source mm -hmm. so you had a very good hardware you could not use for anything else just for let's say using as an oscilloscope okay so yeah. and there we saw yeah. an opportunity we also want to let's say people to start learning with 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 using the advanced technologies mm -hmm. and there this is where it all started from yeah. so that's an important aspect uh, you mentioned the the open source thing so that leads me to, to another question how, how did you roll it out across the community how did they pick it up did you went through kickstarter yeah, basically we went through Kickstarter from the very beginning, mm -hmm. so it was also in 2013. We had a great success there, so basically raising 250,000 euros, I think. <laughs> so five times uh, the amount we expected to, bring, uh, to, mm -hmm. to raise. And uh, definitely this, there was, this, was a, this was a good starting point. And at that point we decided you know, to make a spin-off of this bigger yeah. company. Okay. Uh, because we thought it is very important that we work all days and nights long you know, <laughs> yeah. on this product yes. which, which as, has as a huge small potential. developers you come from sure. a small <clears throat> developer background you are typically entrepreneurs startups going through kickstarter and yeah, seeking yeah. the community how, Joe, how, how did the community react to you in the beginning with with the product i think that uh, very good Mm -hmm. Really, this uh, you know, like new industrial revolution yes. <laughs> movement is going on okay, yeah. in these days. You know, the yeah. electronic is coming. Mm -hmm. You know, like very more ava available uh, mm -hmm. each day, and everybody is starting to play with it. Yeah. And basically, as Rock said, uh, here we introduced this uh, concept of some, uh, I would say, open source test and measurement exactly. electronic yeah. Yeah. Uh, with this Red Pitaya. So mm -hmm. there were many people that uh, were very very interested in that, you know, because these things are very, very expensive on the market yes. uh, nowadays. So 
You know, some of them, they were, they were like users that just were using like test and measurement instruments, like oscilloscope, mm -hmm. spectrum mm -hmm. analyzer, mm -hmm. LCR meter and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. The others from the industry, they start, you know, using it as, um, I would say, alternative for uh, other expensive uh, yeah. data acquisition uh, systems. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, then we have also users that are, you know, from FPGA, uh, like development of FPGA, yep. uh, because they are very, you know, very uh, enthusiastic about this uh, Zinc that came out. That yeah, the Zinc. CPU yes. and FPGA, this mm -hmm. was something new. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think that, that there were many people that were waiting for such kind of product. Yep. They can really play, you know, with something very high performance and exactly. get it for a good price. Mm -hmm. So, so this, this was really the good thing, I think, that we, we done. And, um, hey, George, is it yeah. also fair, you know, to say that the product is entirely open? It it is open ended. It is accessible. That that is perhaps the key to the one of the keys to your success. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I think it is. I think this is a big differentiation compared to other instruments. Mm -hmm. You know, because in normal, you know, you, you take these instruments, you want to do something with them, and you yeah. can't. You know, you can't. Them that is frustrating, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and they are yeah. also big. You know, you have to. <laughs> you know, so you can't make a product out of them. Yeah. You know, and yeah. if you want such good performances yeah. to develop something like yeah. this, you know. Uh, why did you go for the zinc from Xilinx and if perhaps okay, a few other com com components yeah. on it? Because as mm -hmm. I see it, uh, the main component is the, the, the zinc uh, uh, part and the FPGA. And there's also, of course, fast ADC, fast DAC exactly. on, on the board. Yeah. And what have we, uh, and, and a fast with, CPU with and an ARM, solution. of course. Yeah. What were you, and let's discuss the, the ARM perhaps, the, the choice yeah, of so the why choice, did you go yeah, for the ARM yeah. CPU? Basically, at that time, I mean, the, the, in this year, basically, Xilinx introduced uh, mm -hmm. to, to the market uh, something that, that is really a, a game changer here. And this is for the first time FPGA and CPU yeah, are, are living un under the same yeah. Uh, uh, hood, yeah. <laughs> under the same plastic it's, cover. It's exactly. Because yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, as we already, as our, from our experience, let's say, because we were always connecting FPGA with uh, with, with CPU, mm -hmm. this this is quite uh, an I would say an investment. You know, yeah. you need many developers for that. Uh, there are you know we have to develop a driver. Yeah. How this will communicate over the bus? Mm -hmm. Usually you use PC Express, and there are many problems going on. Yeah. And here uh, I think that this world of FPGA and CPU has was just like connected together. Mm -hmm. So uh, also you know like the Linux. Yeah, the uh, li Linux. Yeah. Users, yeah, that are you know well aware how the CPUs are working and okay. you know the OS, they could you know like switch to you know touch FPGA a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did so, the people at at Xilinx did they did they ever respond to your your aunt, your undertaking with um, did they like it? Yeah, I think that they did. Xilinx. I've been there at Xilinx. Yeah. I know the company slightly. Just so I saw the zinc boards. Uh, I think two years ago already. Mm -hmm. And I, to be honest, I thought this is massively co complex. This is, this is yeah, too yeah, complex. We, we went one step lower with smaller FPGAs. I think that they were mm -hmm. very, um, what they like the most is that, you know, there are many platforms for mm -hmm. Zinc, you know, but this one is, it's not just a platform and you can, you know, start learning this technology, yeah. but you can actually use it, you know, yeah. right away as an instrument. Yeah. Yeah. That was okay. the, yeah. 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 And maybe one more thing regarding the, the community, yeah. because uh, we just mentioned that instruments, uh, that basically we started with instrumentation, we tried to do something on that part, mm -hmm. but now we are even widening this also to other uh, users, I would say, uh, with uh, this visual programming, because yeah. we want to make it into uh, like an ultimate learning platform. Okay, yeah, a bit, bit, okay. bit more about that. That perhaps, perhaps later. Okay. Um, Rox, re returning to you, um, yeah. you are now at uh, visiting Elector, and you have had some communications with us. We are selling uh, your product. How did your contacts with Elector come about? That's perhaps maybe interesting for our readers to discover. Mm -hmm. I think it was on Electronic uh, trade show last okay. year. Okay. Yeah. In Munich? Yeah, in Munich mm -hmm. where we met and mm -hmm. I have to say we fell in love immediately. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, switch off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So basically, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's a very good combination, you know, 
having mm -hmm. collector on one side and Red Pita on the other. You are experts also in this okay. field. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, it's in all the senses, you know, you can help us because uh, you really understand the product. Mm -hmm. So, and that's... Our difference. readers yeah. want to understand also, it, perhaps yeah. that's a good, yeah. good yeah. Uh, detail. You've already mentioned oscilloscopes and discrete stuff. So, Rock, you are a big CEO of Red, Red Pitaya <laughs> Company. How, how, about, how about this? I've got a little surprise for you. I mean, talking about oscilloscopes, make, make no mistake, this Ooh. is my, my oscilloscope. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. You know, functionally, functionally, this is of course just a joke. This is an old tube oscilloscope from mm -hmm. 1960 something. Mm -hmm. And it does, just to get the, the, the power of Red Pitaya, to understand the power of, of the thing. This is a 5 megahertz dual trace oscilloscope. Mm -hmm. Can Red Pitaya do that? Definitely. It okay. Can, it's even more capable, you know. Even more it capable. It goes till 50 yeah. megahertz of bandwidth, mm -hmm. and we have 14 bits of resolution. I don't know how much. Yeah. Oh, not 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 mm -hmm. a clue. No, not, a not, clue. not <laughs> much because it's totally <laughs> <Yeah>. defective. So <laughs> okay. we, we shall we shall check it out of. of and of also, the I think yeah. it's quite heavy. It is quite heavy. I mean, this is a yeah. Next up, next up, is a small. This is. We, uh -huh. we used to call this a function generator in the old days. Yeah. How does a Red Pitaya do function generator? We have it too. Yep. Is it a software implementation yeah. written by somebody or did you produce it yourself? How is that done? Well, on the hardware part, sure. on the hardware part we have uh, digital to analog converter. Mm -hmm. DAC, yeah. Two outputs. Yeah. And uh, basically, regarding uh, what kind of signal would you like to oh, this generate? Is, let, let's say a triangle of yeah. 100 kilohertz. Exactly, let's not yeah. make it too difficult. Yeah. <laughs> on this thing, you are, you are quite, quite limited. But here, yeah. you can basically do like your own patterns and stuff. Okay. And Random sequences, sweeping, sweeps, exactly, like yeah. Uh, yeah, doing very, audio very, sweeps. Very useful sweep. functions, yeah. yeah. What sort of distortions are you achieving with Red Pitaya as a function generator? Is that usable for high-end audio or should I think of more logic testing and easy signal generation? No, you could also use it for audio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These 14 bits are, you know, like on yep. uh, very, on 125 mega samples, if you yep. go lower, you know, okay. you yep. can basically have more bits. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I can forget about this instrument at all. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. It's going, it's going very well. It's going very well. <laughs> so now, there's another challenge. There's this used to be called a radio, you know, mm -hmm. listen yeah. to the ray radio. Um, in one of our articles published in Electro magazine, which I've got ah, okay. here, we publish an enhanced FM stereo implementation of Red Pitaya, written by one of our contributors, Professor Osman uh -huh. from, uh, from Aachen. And he actually used your platform to Im implement a complete FM RDS decoder mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. with just a small add-on in terms of hardware. How does that work base basically? Is that also just a matter of opening up the DSP? Uh, the thing that Martin did? Yeah. Basically, um, I would say more something about SDR radio because this yeah. is very, very sim yes, similar. Yes, this is, thing. This is yeah, coming close yeah. to SDR. Yeah, basically. Uh, yeah, in, in, in this application, Red Vitaya is just uh, needed for, you know, like to acquire the data and mm -hmm. all the other things are done in software. Yep. So basically, okay. yeah. the hardware is there, mm -hmm. you just have to use it. Yeah, okay, and so that yeah. leave also opens up uh, interesting mm -hmm. possibilities yeah, for radio wide amateurs. Range of, wide range of use, yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a, there was an application, was somebody mentioning something to listening to Sputnik or something? Yeah. Oh my dear! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There, there's a satellite working just in this yeah. range. And, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Okay. So radio, yeah. radio and amateurs maybe, are also welcome. One more thing, because this is just a receiver. Yeah, this is okay. just a receiver. It's yeah. also a this is a transmitter yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Because can, I have can to be. mention Pablo Demin here because I know I know that he did some quite great stuff on, yeah. the, on this part. Okay. Yeah. Good. Really. So I'll probably never use my old radio again. So finally. <laughs> That's, this, may be, this may be a challenge. This, this looks like this is an old television set. I was getting older and older. This, is, co this is coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, it goes like this. What are the video processing capabilities? How would you estimate your video processing capabilities of Red Pitaya? 
we didn't we didn't do any projects around that. I think that's I so am that's not sure about the community. Open, open but for yeah, this is exactly this Come is all people. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this if is you moment. have video <laughs> applications <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, like decoding, video formatting, yeah. reformatting, test signal generation, that should yeah. be possible with the yeah. with sure, the red yeah. 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 mm -hmm. okay. yeah. yeah. Um, now more seriously. Uh, we've already said that Repetai is entirely open. It is connect connectivity to, to, in the, to the max. Um, we are going to publish articles about uh, the connectivity of Repetai, like with MATLAB and mm -hmm. LabVIEW. Those are very famous platforms already. Yeah, How right. does Repetai, in, in a few words, connect to, say, LabVIEW? Yeah, I would say that uh, those are standard instruments. Also here we follow some standards that are yeah. already used by yeah, industry. Yeah, sure, of course, so why not? Exactly, and uh, so we produce, we, we did that uh, interface. Yeah. Uh, so you can basically connect uh, to it remotely. Mm -hmm. This means you can access to it from yeah. wherever yeah. if you have it once on your network, and uh, you can basically use the, all the functionality that it offers directly from the from the yeah. MATLAB, LabVIEW, and even some platforms that are. Some sort of open source alternatives. Okay. That are yeah. also as long as it's documented. Yes. How yeah, to access yeah, it? Yeah, you, yeah. you can grab it with. Repetite. Exactly. So yeah. in the industry, you could easily do a direct replacement yeah. of some and other sure. data. I also read uh, about <coughs> APIs, API yeah. programming with. Yes. Yeah. We are. We are. Uh, we are developing. We developed this uh, in, in in last uh, few months. So basically, the thing is that uh, you know. Not everybody wants to go to, you know, like the lowest level no. into the FPJ and, you know, yes. has to understand every bit, you know, mm -hmm. maybe somebody just wants to use the, you know, the high performances of yeah. such board. Uh -huh. So for such kind of users, we, we develop these APIs yeah. Yeah. so that you can just it's like... sort of telegram style command lines exactly. Exactly. with pack, exactly. packages, yes. package command. Yeah. We will be publishing yeah. an article about it in the Electron yeah. magazine. It's called Red Pitaya Super Glue. Ah, you oh, know, nice. the glue oh. between Repitaya and LabVIEW and, and MATLAB uh -huh. and, nice. and about APIs that will be in the, let me think, uh, December editions of Electron. So Very for cool. everybody to, to view. Now, you, you, you can answer, maybe you want uh, to have go uh, first. Rock, what would be uh, the most, what is the most exciting application you have ever seen so far of Repitaya, of people doing stuff? With not necessarily technological, but mm. you thought, well, hey, hell, that is just great. Okay, it's, it, it's very difficult, you know, to define which one is the best. No, no, not the best. There are really many <laughs> of them. So, and basically, as already uh, Church mentioned, now we introduced also this visual programming, and we see really people coming, you know, from different sides of the world, mm -hmm. uh, coming back with yeah. applications that they can do within minutes and they, are, they, are, they have no expertise, engineering expertise at all. Mm -hmm. So last week, I think a lady from from United States came, yeah. 13 year old, yeah. and she yeah. developed her alarm so system within minutes. Yeah. So it was yeah. really <laughs> crazy for me, you know. So cool, cool. She, she, shot, uh, she shot it also a video. Mm -hmm. So it's really a nice one. I really love at it. So every time I look at yeah, it. Yeah, it's, you know. It's, you know. Did you come across any uh, Applications you thought that as wacko. Like like Rock mentioned, we were really passionate about people. You know, when, when you yeah. see somebody, you know, like a child do something mm -hmm. with this, you know, then I mean, it, it's really something. You know, yeah. this thing it's, really meant. It, it proves the power of the product, really. Exactly. Because exactly. It's chill, yeah. chill, so, young people. Mm -hmm. I think that it, it really depends uh, if you we just you know like judge it on application level. I mm -hmm. don't know if you want really something that is very complicated. If this is the, the something that that counts, then. Uh, I would say that research labs are doing really crazy stuff. I mean, like spectroscopy, and maybe some some of them are cooling the atoms with some lasers mm -hmm. down to enormous low temperatures. Okay. This is something that not all of us, you know, like will do at home. But okay, this is some sort of high. Then also to yeah. mention radars, maybe. Yeah, so radars, yeah. Radar yeah, systems. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So fun projects and researchers. Yeah. Oh. More about so projects. Um, I, I'm using this interview also to give an opportunity to, to give to bring out a call to, to all readers of Elector magazine and all everybody who's who's joining or watching this video, mm -hmm. you know, to start programming with, with Red Pitaya. Mm -hmm. um, what applications would perhaps finally rock would you like to see 
people do on your wish list? Okay, there are many applications that can be done, as we already mentioned. I would like here, first of all, to thank everybody that mm. contributed yeah. To, yeah. to you know to yeah, what we did you. since now, because I really appreciate what they are doing. They're really <laughs> helping us, you know, moving forward, mm. and we really appreciate that. Uh, so basically, as we also uh, mentioned previously, we see that we are making now the br a bridge between beginners okay. and between, well, let's advanced. say, advanced, advanced yeah. users yeah. Yeah. that Great. have the common interest, you know, mm -hmm. of uh, liking, let's say, electronics and engineering. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Jared, your wish list, your one wish for somebody to <laughs> implement something on the Red Pitaya? For, for the applications. Yeah, can be crazy one. Okay, I'll get my personal wish list. <laughs> okay, crazy okay. personal wishes. Okay, so, yeah, okay. Uh, you know, I'm a bit of a musician, you know. Okay. So maybe uh, guitar effects? Yes, a guitar effects. That would be really nice. Oh, you know, that's, that's, that's somebody that Somebody could, yeah. you know, like use the web interface that we have, mm -hmm. you know, like web application mm -hmm. to have to change some parameters. Yeah. You know, maybe put a controller here on the other general purpose pins, you know, to switch the effects and uh, do the digital signal processing inside this. That would be You know nice. what? I, I just heard an article yeah. coming. Uh, from yeah? You. yeah, from you. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Cool. Guys, thank you very much for this interview, Rock and Chert. Yeah, thank you. On the Red, Red Pitaya. Thank you too. And uh, thank you for coming yeah, and uh, for, for working here and telling us a bit about background about uh, Red Pitaya, your wishes. We've heard no complaints so far, but okay, that is part of the game too. It is an interactive product both as far as the electronics is concerned, mm -hmm. as the community and the people using it are, is concerned. And I think it's uh, very prom promising. There is something more in the pipeline from Red Pitaya and more about that maybe in a following video. Thank you, guys. Thank Cheers. You. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.